It's very quiet here at High Shields. Mr. Edwards has just closed the gates. So there must be a train coming. Newspaper boys back on the corner. Taxis there waiting for passengers. The bus is about to leave. The day is just about to start. Hello lads, train spotting today? No, we're going to the pictures. We're going to see Batman. Oh, I haven't been to the pictures since, since, oh, Gone with the Wind. God, that's a movie and a half that was. Nearly three and a half hours long. Yeah, this is new out. It stars Adam West and Burt Ward. We're not going to miss anything on the line today, are we? Now it's just normal commuter service. Anyway, enjoy your movie. Maybe I'll see you later on. Yes, you might do. Ta-da! Hey John, really looking forward to the movie. The trailer was quite good. It's got all the bad guys in it. The Joker, the Penguin, Catwoman, you name it. It's got the lot. Yeah, I know. I'm excited about it too. Uh, you're not still thinking about yesterday? No. I'm more interested in seeing the movie. Anyway, let's go get John. Knock, knock. John? Sounds like your friends are here. Tell him I'll be down in a minute, Mum. Hello, Mrs. Jenkins. It's all right if John comes out. We're supposed to be going to the pitches today. John, hurry up. Your friends are waiting. And don't forget to wash your face. Yes, Mum. John. What's that mark on your face? As Mrs. Jenkson takes out her handkerchief, spits on it and wipes the mark off. Nah, that's better. Stop embarrassing me, Mum! He 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 he! Laughed Jason and Joe. Here, John, before you go, here's some extra pocket money. Oh, thanks, Mum! And don't forget, don't be late. I want you back by five o'clock. Okay, Mum. Come on, John. We're going to be late for the train. Have a nice time, boys. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. As the lads make their way to the train station, little did they know that a little old man will tell them the true story of what happened with the night hawk. Hey Joe, we've been waiting ages. No, we just got here. Here Jason, what time's the next train? Uh, it should be leaving Shields just about now. Oh, I can't wait any longer.
Here it comes, Joe. Hey, you're not wrong here, John. Hey Joe, isn't that your Uncle Sid? Yes he is. I wonder who he's talking to. Hmm, somebody of importance probably. How long we got John? Not long, we got half an hour before the movie starts. Better get our skates on. Here, Jason, you think we're being followed? No, I don't be daft. Come on, let's get a move on, otherwise we'll miss the movie.
Hurry up, John, otherwise we're going to be late. We've only got 15 minutes. Okay, I'm right behind you. So, why the lads went and saw their Batman movie, the old boy decided to go to the Crown and Anchor for a quick pint. Or two. Some three hours later, the lads had come out in the movie and they were uh, well excited what they had seen. Hey Jason, do the penguin voice again. <laughs> oh, that's good, really clever. I like the Riddler. Riddle me thee and riddle me that. Who's afraid of the big black bat? <laughs> well done, Joe. That's brilliant. Oh, I think the scene where the Batman was almost swallowed up by the shark. Oh, that was cool. That was fab. Yeah, it was a good movie. Right, I suppose I better get the bus to the station. While the lads were waiting for a bus, this old man came up to him and asked, Hey lads, how was the movie? What do you, what do you mean? Who are you? I couldn't help overhearing you talking about my engine yesterday. Your engine? Yes, my engine. Nighthawk 2577. I have a story to tell. Might take an hour or so. But if you're willing to listen, I shall treat you to a milkshake over at Mandy's Corner's Caf. What do you think, John? I knew we've been followed. That's right, I was following you. I was hoping to catch up with you and tell you my story. But, but the office there if you want to listen. What do you think, Joe? Yeah, okay. Jason? Yeah, count me in. Fab. Okay, let's listen to your story. Hello, sir. What can I get you? I like a cup of tea, milk and no sugar. Three of those lovely icy sticky buns and three milkshakes. What flavour would you like your milkshakes? Mm, do them all the same, strawberry. OK, take a seat and I'll bring them over to you. Thank you. Right, so let me guess. You must be Jason. You must be John, and you must be... Oh, I'm Joe. Joe Jackson. Ah, so you're Sid's nephew. You know Sid, my Uncle Sid. Yeah. Is he still a station master over at Tyne Dock? Yes, he is. So, you want to know about the Nighthawk? Is she really a ghost? Says John. No, but she has a proud history. She was built in October 1924 and was rebuilt again in 1944 where she became an A3 class. And in October 1962, it was withdrawn and scrapped at Doncaster Works, which was a very sad ending to a locomotive who became a legend and the North East. A legend? Yeah, let me tell you a story. My story starts in 1938. Good morning, George, Ralph. Good morning, Mr. Livington. What are you doing here? We've already been assigned our locomotive for today. Yeah, there's been a change of plan. We have a new locomotive arriving on shed today, and I'd like you two chaps to take over. Oh, okay. 
why us? Well, this locomotive deserves a special crew. There she is. She's been taken off the express services so she can run night freight. I know she's a bit uh, of a bigger local than what you've been used to. Do you think you can handle it? Oh yeah, Mr. Levington. come far mate? No, I've only come from the Gateshead Sheds. There's locos queuing up for miles to get painted black. Oh that don't sound good Geordie. You're right there Ralph. Something must be happening. Here is your cup of tea, milkshakes and ice buns. Thank you Mandy. Yummy, says Jason. Thank you, Mr. Morley. Please, call me Geordie. So, where were we? Ah, yes. After working on the 2577, the Nighthawk, for the first time, we were surprised and relieved on how easy she was to handle on the railway lines around the northeast. But all that was about to change when war came in 1939 as the engine was allocated to the War Department to transport vehicles and munitions for the Army.
Hey George, looks like she was just cupped it big time. Let's hope we don't. Not with this lot we've got on the back of here. through there and we'll be all right. I hope Charlie's all right. At least New Hassel Central's empty. When I give you the word, get ready to hit the brakes. As soon as we clear the station. Okay, Jordy. Now! Geordie, looks like the engine's taken a hit. I think she's got some shrapnel in the boiler case and the steam coming out. Don't worry about it now, Ralph. Give Charlie a hand to put out the fire. I'll wait for your signal. Right you are, Geordie. Ah, Charlie, you're all right. We are, man. I've just managed to unhook the blocking van still burning fiercely and Sid there is shouting out of water oh look here comes the engine to rescue us yeah it's Fred in the N7 better give Geordie a signal to move the loco out
stand back while he shunts the engine into the siding. You know there's nothing in it, but you never know. some water and that's it. Douse it out. Oh, that don't look too bad. It's just a little bit charred. Come on, Charlie. Let's catch up to George. Looks like Sid's got the blaze under control. we better head back to the train. Poor old George, he'd be wondering where we got to. Right, old lads, the brake band's hooked up. Cheers, Fred. Catch you later, Sid. See you later, boys. Well, that was a close call thing. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Charlie. Right, I'll let George know you're all right. I suppose we better get this lot back to Vickers, I suppose. Well, we managed to deliver our heavy load to the almonds factory and save Newhouse from an almighty explosion, but uh, poor old South Shields came off pretty badly that night, and I hope that you lads never have to witness the horrors of war. How badly was the loco damaged after that night, said John. She had small shrapnel damage, which took her out of service for about three weeks. But after that, there was no more incidents. And after the war, she went back to express traffic. And we were very lucky to stay with her. But by January 1948, the railways were in a very poor state. So the government decided to bring together the big four railways and nationalise them. And that's when it happened. What happened? said Jason.
Right lads, there's no express run today as I have booked 2577 in for a new coat of paint. Olive green with a new crest and running number. Yeah, she should look smart in a new livery, Mr. Liverton. And so she should, Jory. Oh, I don't know about that, says Ralph. I think she's proud of her colours. Maybe so, but she has to change with the times, I'm afraid. Right you are, Mr. Leverton. Let's get underway. Ready, Ralph? We are. Okay, ease off on the brake. Open up the regulator. Oh, she's slipping. Oh, that's not good. not moving. Give her a bit more. Blimey, what was going on there? It's like she didn't want to move. That's all right, she's underway now. you think all that is about? I think you're right. I don't think she wants to change her livery. Don't be daft. Locals don't have feelings. Slow down, Jordy. Slow down, Jordy. I think I'm losing control of the local. Why are we going too fast? We're going too fast. Glad we jumped when we did. I think I busted my leg, Ralph. Yeah, I've got a bit of a headache. How's the loco? Uh, I think the Nighthawks had it. So yes, that was the last time that I worked on any locomotive as my leg was so badly damaged from the jump I was not allowed to drive any more locomotives. I did hear that they repaired the Nighthawk and she continued in service until she was withdrawn and then broken up at Darlington in 1962. As for the lads, Ralph he continued working on steam locomotives until they were all gone. Charlie Junction, I hear now, works on the buses. Do you miss working?
working on the railways, says Jason. If I could do it all again, yes, I'd love to go back and work on the Nighthawk, as she was my favourite locomotive. We must get going now, says John. Of course, lads, you must get on. I hope you've enjoyed our little chat, and maybe we can do it again sometime. Where do you live, Mr Morley? I live in High Shields. Oh good, that's where we live. You can travel with us if you like. Yeah, that would be great. Maybe I can tell you some more bits and pieces about the night walk as we go along. Here we go, here's our train. We didn't have to wait long. Right lads, it's been a great afternoon, but uh, I think this is where we part company. Will we meet you again? Possibly Jason. I hope so, says John. Maybe we can do a bit of train spotting together. Oh yes, I'd definitely like that. But uh, I think you guys better run along home now. Okay, Geordie, see you again sometime. There goes Geordie. Bye lads. Boy John, what a great day. First of all we've seen a movie, fabulous movie, and then we met up with Mr Morley, Geordie who told us all about the night hall. Yeah. My tummy's rumbling. Yeah, me too. C catch you all again tomorrow. Bye, Jason. Bye, John. See you later, Joe.
Hey, it's a bit quiet, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, you're right there, Jason. And there's no Mr. Edwards. I wonder where he is. It's not like him not to be at the gates. Hello, Joe. Hello, John. Hello, Jason. You haven't seen Mr. Edwards, have you? Oh, Mo? There's a whole load of people over at the church. Hey, Joe. Your Uncle Sid's there. And Mr. Brimmer, Station Master. And Mo. That's where they all are. Hello, Uncle Sid. Hello, Ben. Good boy. Joe, what are you doing here? I um, just want to find out what's going on. Yes, we're uh, paying our last respects to a good old friend of ours. I don't know if you ever get, got the chance to meet him. His name is George Morley. Um, yes we did. About a week ago. Ah, that's good. Because that's what he's always wanted to do. Was pass on his story for the next generation of young lads. So, I'm finally glad you got round to meeting him. I was going to tell you about his involvement with the Nighthawk. Can we go and see him? Yeah, sure. Hello, Geordie. This is Joe, Jason and John here. We've come to say goodbye and to thank you for sharing that afternoon with us. Tell us about the night hawk. You're welcome lads. <laughs>